Greetings and welcome to Getting Started Video Number 6, Dashboard. As you may have already figured out, Systematic Revenue's dashboard is command central. It's the first page that greets you when you log in, and for good reason. From here, you can learn a great deal about what's going on in your business with nothing more than a few simple mouse clicks. I'm going to highlight a couple of dashboard's most important features, but before doing so, please be aware that at the time of this recording, dashboard is a work in progress. Some of the current features will be enhanced, others will be dramatically reworked, some will be eliminated, and a few new ones will be added. In short, don't get too attached to Dashboard's current functionality and feature set because it'll be changing in the weeks ahead. That being understood, let's get into it. Dashboard is effectively divided into three distinct areas. The Contact Status Overview, the Recent Activity News Feed, and the 30-Day Message Campaign Summary. The contact status overview shows you at a glance what's going on with every systematic revenue contact by status. In a manner of speaking, systematic revenue ships with the five default statuses on display. Lead, Prospect, Opportunity, Customer, and Not Interested. As a user, you're free to modify or delete these and or create others that better suit your business, but for most businesses, these effectively define the stages of a buying cycle. And your goal as a business owner should be to move contacts over time to higher levels of qualification until they become customers. As it currently stands, each individual status block provides you with four pieces of vital information at first glance. Using the lead status as our example, here's what you're being told from the top down. There are currently 341 contacts in the system that have been assigned the status of lead. 15% of those 341 are on some form of nurturing campaign. Within the 30-day period that we're currently viewing, 449 contacts have come into the system originally with the status of lead, and that represents 44% of this user's 30-day goal cycle. When we click on this particular block, it actually opens an expanded window that gives us a better graphic representation of the most recent 30-day window. And you can see that on Tuesday, April 24th, 393 contacts were added to the system at that point, and they were, of course, leads at the time. We also had another small spike on May 1st. The row below here kind of repeats some of what you saw on the capsulized summary block, that being that 15% of the contacts are being nurtured. There are a total of 341 that have the status of lead. A total of 449 were brought in during the 30-day cycle on display above. That represents 44% of a 30-day goal, and that on average, a person is staying in the status of lead for about 11 days. Clicking on each successive status block shows the same graphic representation for that particular status. To go back to the summary version, simply click again on the status you're hovering over, or click on the Close button. The Recent Activity window is broken out into two tabs. The Contact Activity tab, which is the default, displays virtually everything going on in your system based upon one of these three selections, either All Activity, for all contacts at any time, or it can be subdivided into specific contacts or specific activities. As an aside, take note of the recent activities that are entered into this window associated with the campaign tutorial that you last went through. Since conducting that, which was only a day ago on my timetable, you can see that there have been three activities associated with that campaign that are noted in this window. This should give you a little bit of an idea of the power of how all these things can be monitored and recorded. The Send Items tab, at the moment, displays only those items sent by the individual user, in this case, me. Finally, let's take a quick look at the 30-day activity summary window. It is broken into messages and campaigns. However, at the moment, campaigns, not much to look at. Messages, though, will give you an idea of how many messages in total have been sent out over the 30-day cycle, what their open ratio has been, what the click-through ratio has been, how many bounces have occurred, how many people have unsubscribed, and how many people may have complained. That's pretty much it. As I said, this is a work in progress. You'll be seeing more features added to the dashboard in the weeks ahead. But for now, this should give you enough information to at least poke around and get yourself familiar with it. Stay tuned for our final video in the Getting Started series on tasks, coming up soon. See you then.